contribution is so important, where do we find it in the income statement? So remember, for financial reporting purposes, we have rules, I for S. And we call the, the state statement or the income statement the statement, statement of comprehensive income. Um, and that is presented in a very specific way. There are specific rules how to present profit. Um, and costs are classified by nature. So it's split between manufacturing and non-manufacturing costs. But luckily for our purposes, for management accounting, we don't have any rules. And we can call the, the statement of comprehensive income anything we like. So we can call it the statement of profit and loss or the profit and loss statement. Or we can call it simply the income statement. So let's just stick to income statement. So where in the income statement do we find contribution? So it's important to, to realize that for our purposes, for decision making purposes, we prepare this, the income statement or we calculate profit in any way we like or that we see fit or that's useful for us. So we will start with sales, uh, same as any income statement, and we'll de first deduct all our variable costs and that will give us contribution. And then we'll deduct our fixed costs and that will give us profit. Now, this is the same company that also has to prepare financial statements for reporting purposes using IFRS. So they will, uh, that if the financial accountants will also report the sales, it will be the same sales value. But then they will take these costs and group them or classify them by nature. So they will take all the manufacturing costs and from the variable cost and from the fixed costs and they will calculate cost of sales. So cost of sales includes all our manufacturing costs. And then that will give us gross profit, which you'll see or you'll be familiar with uh, if you've looked at financial statements before. And then they'll have to take all the non-manufacturing costs from variable and fixed costs. So that's non-manufacturing or other expenses, selling and distribution, marketing, admin, and then they'll get the profit. Now we'll see later in a, in a future topic um, when and when not will these profits be, they be the same. But for our purposes, it, we can assume it's the same. And uh, this is the income statement that we will use for cost volume profit analysis. So sales, and then we'll classify the cost, um, whether it's variable or fixed. Um, and if we take sales minus variable cost, we'll get this useful number contribution, and then we'll deduct fixed cost to get to our final profit. So that's where we find contribution in our income statement.